Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Matt and it is Fiendish Friday. I can't believe this week is already done for as far as the work week goes. Uh, it flew by really, really fast. I hope each and every one of you are having a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk. All that fun jazz. Hopefully you're with your family, friends, loved ones, doing whatever it is that makes you happy. Because that's what's most important in life. Um, and please do like, share, and subscribe, guys. I am up over that 100 marker now. Let's see if we can get it up to 125. Let's see what we can do. Uh, please uh, share with your friends. Let them know about me. And uh, uh, I will, you know, I will be very, very grateful. And uh, always remember that I do take requests. Um, try to keep in mind that I stick with a, a, a format that is a little off the mainstream path. So... If you do have requests, try to keep it within my format. Um, otherwise, I, I, I will do mainstreamer films, the big ones, kind of like what I did uh, the other day with Dawn of the Dead. It's just not my my preparation. I would rather do a um, uh, little, little less known films. I mean, films that are known, but... Uh, uh, not talked about like they should be. And today's film is definitely one of those. Uh, it's another, yet another blue underground that deserves a Blu-ray. Um, it, and le if it does have one, I don't know of it. It's probably an overseas, uh, Blu-ray, I'm guessing, because it's not here stateside. Um, <clears throat> deserve, we need one. Uh, this one's from 1974, so this one goes back a few years, six years before I was born, so 46 years ago, a little bit, little while ago. Uh, this one's this cut here is running at an hour and 33 minutes. I know that this one runs under like like was it like 15, 16, 17 different titles. Uh, it's a it's a heaping amount of titles, and I'm sure most of I'm sure a lot of them are different cuts. And uh, I'm sure this one is a different cut than the uh, the other release of this because Blue Underground released this under both under two different titles under Let Sleep Sleeping Corpses Lie, and which I have is The Living Dead at Manchester Morgue, which stars uh, Ray Lovelock, Christine Rambo, and Arthur Kennedy. Christine Rambo, that doesn't sound right. Uh, Galbo, Galbo. I don't know why it says Rambo on there. I wonder if. Uh, Good old autocorrect uh, changed it without me seeing it, which um, I'm not going to lie. I do have a lot of typos in that stuff, uh, which you guys, any of you guys know that if you read read my uh, my little descri in the description, the uh, the uh, as far as the synopsis and who stars in it, I do make uh, mistakes on that end. And it causes me to make more mistakes when I film the videos, which is which is sad to say. Um, uh, it's just one of those things. Uh, I'm not perfect, but I try my best to be for you guys on, on these little reviews because I, I know that you guys get entertainment out of them. I get a lot of joy of doing them for you guys, and I uh, uh, want to continue doing these for you guys because I love this. Uh, and by the way, this is, like I said, this is a Blue Underground 2-disc edition here. It's got a really cool slip cover. Uh, let's go up. Go ahead and po pop her open and take a peek. Uh, like I said, it is two discs. And as far as, there's no reversible cover art, but you got this nice little index here and a little little picture to, in the background to for you to look at. I You know, that's one of those things that if, if you're going to do clear cases, um, do something like that because it's really nice. It uh, uh, gives us something to look at when we're opening it up and, and looking inside. Now, as far as what we got here for the special features, there we go, guys. Let me zoom that in a little bit. All right. Yeah. Some some decent stuff there. What do we got? Uh, a locations feature with Jorge uh, Grau, who is the director. Um and then we got an interview with Ray Lovelock, an uh, interview with Giannetto De Rossi, which when I, when I was um, watching this, I'm like, man, these effects are really, really good. I, I, I wonder who did them. And when I was typing up my little, little part of it, I saw that Giannetto De Rossi did it. And he is an amazing artist, effects artist. Like, he did stuff like... Um, 
Uh, he worked on Fulci's, uh, I want to say, The Beyond and House by the Cemetery. He also did the effects for, for High Tension that I know of for you guys that are into the, Fr the French New Wave uh, of horror that was that came out a few years, uh, gosh, probably about 10 years ago, uh, 10 plus years ago. Uh, yeah, I think that came out in 04, 05, you know, that's an older one. It's one that I do like, maybe it came out in 06, but it, it's, uh, definitely, uh, 15, 15 plus years ago. Uh, it's been a hot minute. Um, now with, uh, this one, what is it about? Okay, it's about this dude played by, played by Ray Lovelock, who is a, an arts dealer. And, whoa, I just hit and knocked that all crazy. He's an arts dealer that uh, is um, heading off to this small town to basically get rid of this this piece of artwork that is uh, like a, it looks like a voodoo piece. It's some, some sort of African tribal piece, if, if memory serves me correct. And he's, he's trying to get it to this... Um, to this small town over the weekend, um, and while he's on his way, he's he's riding a li his little motorcycle. He stops at a little uh, gas station to fill up, and a young lady by the name of Christine Galbo uh, comes by and backs over his motorcycle. So there's a little little bit of animosity between the two, which under I understand, I would be I would be pretty heated too. Uh, so he basically forces her to give him a ride to where he's going, and she, as they're on the way, she is able to um, mani manipulate him to the point to where he doesn't need to go where he where he's on his way to. He needs to take her where she's going to instead, uh, because she she's going to check on. I believe it was her sister at the at, at the. Uh, at the moment, I'm drawing a blank, but uh, she went to go check on. I'm pretty sure it was the sister. Uh, and while she's there, she comes across this dude that is has been. He is a, a local vagrant that died previously, pre days previously, days prior. And they are they. She has seen him out and about. She he even. Uh, uh, tried attacking her so and and uh he even killed another killed a couple on top of it so you got let me see do they have a picture of him on here yeah that's him right there he uh he's got these wicked which all of them have these wicked contacts on that look like they hurt like a son of a bitch i'm not gonna lie it uh they're pretty gnarly looking, and for for the seventies, uh, um, eyewear was not a uh, a thing that was as as uh, advanced as what it is now. And still, I I get nervous putting touching my eyeball with anything just because it's it's my eyeball. I don't want to go blind. Uh, I like seeing and and knowing all of that stuff. <laughs> I don't want to go blind ever, ever, ever. But anyways. Uh, so she, he's attacked this, this couple killed them, blah, 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 blah. The police think he's done it. Um, all the while going on is this whole experimentation with radiation to get rid of, uh, pests, pests from, from, uh, crops and from the fields of, of crops and stuff like that. And they're running this machine that, uh, uh, is just weird out of this world looking uh, and then they got another part of it um connected to the track to a tractor um so th you that's your different type of of zombie for the day uh cuz monday we did uh nazi experiments uh tuesday was uh, a curse slash occult type thing uh, Wednesday was your uh, virus, uh, um, kind of end of the world plague type thing. Yesterday we had voodoo zombies, and today we have zombies that are created from a man-made uh, 
uh, machine for, uh, created by radiation. Uh, a little different take than usual there's another one that's that's very similar to this that i absolutely adore as well it's called grapes of death i thought about reviewing that one this week as well but uh um it's packed away still uh, so i didn't get to uh get to that one but um that's another one that is very very good it goes instead of uh radiation it's pesticides with that one so uh they went a different route on that which i think toxic zombies it was like a pesticides one as well if memory serves me i've only seen bits and pieces of that one and i don't really remember much about it to be quite honest um, that's all I really want to say as far as what the movie's about. Um, the police think that he did it. There's the whole radiation thing. Uh, the girl is completely goofy and she annoys me in this movie. I'm not going to lie. There's some great, great, cool special effects for the time. Practical effects. There's no CGI back in these days. Uh, um, for, you know, it's just awesome stuff done by Giannetta De Rossi. I can't, uh, uh, stress enough how much his, his films, his work is, how good it is. So let's get on to a rating for this thing. On the technical side, this thing's really polished. Um, Jorge was a very is a very accomplished director. Um, he can definitely frame up a shot. He knows he has a vision, and it is there, and it's not one that is incoherent. It is 100% easy to follow. There is um, a nice little twist in there towards the end, which is freaking awesome. I really like that little part. Um, other than that, you know, it's 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 really a, a polished film. So I'm gonna give it a four out of five on the technical side. Now, as far as in the entertainment side, this thing is a four out of five as well. It's 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 a little slow to to get going at first but once it gets going it's very very well done um one that you can it's very easy to watch like i said uh it's got a great twist ending uh the characters ray lovelock's character is very likable uh arthur kennedy character you want to just sock him in the mouth the whole time because he's just a giant douchebag um i guess christine galbo she's okay and she's not uh the uh, the worst that I would say uh, but uh, anyways let's give this thing an 8 out of 10 call it good I gotta get the hell out of here folks I got some stuff to do I hope each and every one of you have a fantastic weekend uh, hopefully you get to watch something awesome and as always you know I love your faces and